I just saw 10 Cloverfield Lane. I went in reluctantly, I have to say. I did. But, alas, I was surprised. Let's find out more in my one minute movie review. First of all, did not see the first Cloverfield because hell no, I'm not gonna go get motion sick in the movie theater. I can't really give away too much and I don't wanna give away too much, so I'm not gonna say too much about the actual plot, but I can say that you will just be sitting there in the theater going, huh? What's that now? Oh, I get it. What? No. No, that wasn't it. So that happens the entire way through almost. There's only one moment really where I thought, okay, there's too much exposition here. They're talking too much. I know they're trying to humanize the characters a little bit more, but I already felt connected to them, so I didn't really hear, I didn't really need to hear any of their backstory. Um, and that was the only time that I was pulled out of it, but for the most part, it was a really interesting ride. This movie is genre bending, it's genre breaking, and I think we should applaud movies like this and go see them. Because uh, it's just a surprise, like you don't know what to expect and that's the fun part about it. I hope that nobody spoils it for you and I hope you go in um, just not expecting anything. Don't expect anything because you, you can't really with this movie. And I'm just happy that this exists for that reason. It's different and I think we should applaud things that are different and celebrate them and um, just kudos to the people behind this film, the people in this film. It was a thriller but it wasn't really. And, it has no, I cannot define it for you. And I choose not to. Just go and see it, all right? Come back and tell me what you think. Beep-a-deep. Thanks so much for watching and subscribing, and I will see you soon.